Hi there, Dominique Soxa with you today. We are doing a full on hair blowout from scratch. Not only are we blowing out the hair, we are also going to create very soft waves and a curtain bang, which is very on trend right now. It's also a wonderful option if your bangs are on the longish side or you're trying to grow them out. As you know, I've done a side swept bang tutorial for you, which is great if you like to do a deep side part, but right now middle parts are, are very in. But those of us who are a little bit more mature, shall we say, it's it's very heavy to have hair parted in the middle and long and straight. You know, that's the look that our 16 year olds are going for. So chopping in some longish layers really adds some lift and bounce and a youthful look. So you can still do center part having some layers and I wanna show you how to achieve that without creating the bump bang as I call it. There's a way to sort of flatten it and make a nice curtain. So like I said, we're starting from scratch. I have already washed and if you follow me you know that I had a Brazilian blowout treatment at the beginning of summer especially before I went on vacation to be able to handle um, you know the sun and the beach and water and all of that good stuff so I am still using Brazilian blowout products specifically the shampoo and conditioner now what I'm going to do is I will add the ionic bonding spray number three from Brazilian blowout so this is simple it's really great for color protectant but it helps to preserve the length of the Brazilian blowout. So it just makes the blow dry a little quicker and it helps to keep hair smooth and eliminate the frizzy. So I just do a decent amount all over. The only other product that I want to use is just a little bit of root lift, not up front here, but just here in the crown. So I will take my hair, part it toward the middle and I am using Wow raise the root and I will spray it just in a few different sections right here at the crown just to give me a little bit of lift back there and then I take my fingers and I just kind of massage it in that area and having a Brazilian blowout and using these products for their, those of you who've done it before it really speeds up the blow dry process but again we're going to be using a wand as well to create some very soft bendy waves so I, I love this tutorial because we get to cover a lot of subjects here so let's start with the blowout it's on a high heat right now and I'm just moving my hair from side to side on the crown and going straight down on the sides just side to side helps to create a little bit of root lift at the top of your head so now before the hair gets too dry we want to get in and really start working on the bangs as i have told you before in previous videos i do not like saving the bangs for last this is the most temperamental part of our hair it's where it's the most thin if you have curly hair, it's where you have the most curl. So in my opinion, stylists need to tackle this first and then move back. So that's what we're gonna do. I have a very large round brush. This looks to be about two and a half inches in diameter. And I'm going to start working my bang, but instead of doing an up and over, because that's what's gonna create the straight on bang bump, what I wanna do is work it from side to side and then a little bit under. So let me show you how this works. Starting near a center part, I do side, side, and then I go under. See, and it's starting to find now a middle part. And what I do on the top now is I will take a section right here, kind of past the bang into this next tier, and I will just roll it back. And now I'm going to take this piece that I've just rolled back and heated, and I will wrap it around a simple Velcro roller. And secure it with a clip. So what's happening is it's now going to cool like this. I will take that section right behind it 
and do the very same thing. Take a nice sized roller. These rollers have no heat, by the way. They're just plain Velcro rollers. All we're doing is letting our hair cool now and it's going to give you some nice volume at the top of your head. And I've got one last section back here. And my final one, and I just do three on the top. And now the rest of my hair I will just dry. Uh, for those of you who have straight hair, you can just do it with the dryer just to get your pieces dry. I still have to manipulate a little bit with a hairbrush to tame any little frizz that's left, but the Brazilian blowout for me, had I not had the treatment, my hair would already be trying to curl up in little ringlets and things like that. So it's a big time saver for me and it's helped to take that edge out of my hair. Just to help enhance that middle part, you can just take some clips and clip this and this off to the side. And you've got a couple of options at this point, um, depending on how your bangs are laying. If you want flattish bangs, you can do that. If you want a little bit of a lift at the bang, you can take a very small brush, anchor it just here at the root, not the end, because we're not trying to curl the hair. Just give it a little bit of a lift. Okay, so now comes the part with the flat iron to make some waves. So this is what it looks like. And it has a setting here on the side. So I, I hope you can see it's on the lowest setting. Make sure you buy a flat iron where you can adjust the setting, not just an on and an off. And the reason for that is if you have highly processed hair like yours truly, um, you do not want to use a high heat setting on a flat iron or a curling iron because you will break your hair completely off. So the lowest setting is great. All we're looking for here is a nice soft wave. We're not going for tight spirally type curls. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. I'm actually recording a video during a Texas thunderstorm. Let's hope the power stays on. Anyway, we're going for loose waves here. So the lowest setting possible, and we're gonna start on the pieces that are down and we will finish with taking this off. So you just take your hair section by section. And I like to do thicker sections cause I like bigger waves. And the way you do it with a flat iron is you grab up top and you just start bending and just twist it around and pull it through. See? And there's your wave. All right. So around I go. Just bend it back, slide it through. Be careful around your face. Burned my forehead not that long ago. And it may take a little practice to get this technique down but I really prefer a flat iron over a curling iron for these loose waves. And my personal favorite look is the day after, after you've slept on it and it loosens up that much more. It just has this sort of effortless, beachy type of a look to it, that kind of California gently messed up. And you see how the lowest setting is working quite well. Sometimes we think we need to power it way up to a hot, hot setting for it to be effective. But my feeling is try it on the lowest for the desired result. And I'm stopping just before the ends get through. Okay. Get a little tricky getting toward the back of the hair. Same concept though. For these bottom pieces, I like to just kick them out, the ones that are underneath just a little outward bend instead of tucking under. I find that going out when you have a wave just complements the wave pattern a little bit better. Okay, so now it's time to tackle the top. And I'll start in the back, take this out, and I'm gonna split this one in two because they're gonna go in different directions, right? Because we're doing a middle part. So this one, it's going to go back on this side and face 
basically spiral inward. And the same thing has to happen for this one. Split it in the middle. Now I don't want my spiral starting too high up. I want the top part to lay a little flatter. So I will just bring it down and then start my spiral around there. Bring it down and then spiral just toward the end. And the rest is super, super simple. So once you have everything in place, you now take your favorite hairspray and all you're doing is a real simple separation, right? So you just take it and I go from underneath and I just loosely separate the hair. That's it. Just loosely separate. Your hands are your best friend. No brushes here. And I just take it and I piece it until I'm happy. Okay, and when you get everything exactly where you want it, just take your spray. Again, I prefer spraying from underneath to create a little lift and separation. I don't like spraying on the top because that's how you weigh your hair down and it gets dirty quicker. Um, you may need a little bit just here in the bang area just to catch some little frizzies or flyaways. But other than that, truly try to concentrate as much of your hairspray on the bottom. I'm using helium air spray. And then once I'm happy with everything, and I'm trying to use as little as possible because I want it to look as natural and as light as I can have it. I will finish it up. <laughs> How do you like the spit technique? You know, that's my favorite. That's for the top stragglers, a little spit and then blend it with a little hairspray and, and voila, you're done. Okay, I'm gonna finish out with Brazilian Blowout Shine and Shield Spray Shine. A little goes a long way, but this is just to give um, a little luminous luster to the hair. Again, I hold it pretty far away, and I just hit the ends right here by the front and the back. I mean, literally one, two, three, and that's it. And it just kicks in a little bit of shine. It's very good for your hair, makes it look super healthy, and voila, we are done. We are inching ever so close to a million subscribers. Click the subscribe button, ring the bell, continue to follow me on social media. We share, we converse, we do all kinds of things there too. Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and uh, you know, I don't know wherever else I am. Um, and of course here on this platform. So go out, be bold and be blessed. I will see you next Thursday at one o'clock.